um, the film came about as a result of uh, me having lived in Europe um, for 20 years and having lived away from Singapore. And when I came back in the early 2000, I, um, um, I came back to a Singapore which was a different kind of Singapore that I grew up in. I grew up in Singapore in the 60s and 70s when life was much more simpler, but I think happier. Um, and when I came back uh, 20 years later in the early 2000s, and it was a, a Singapore which had changed beyond recognition. Um, and it was, on the surface, a richer Singapore, you know, um, glistening and sparkling, you know, glass, cement, steel all over the place, shopping malls, MRT stations. But I felt that the people were uh, significantly um, less happy. Um, um, and, and as an artist, you know, I try to, in my work, um, be a mirror um, to that um, society that I, I, I live in. Um, I, I try to, 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 to bring across that, that element. Um, and so for me, the family here is more a metaphor of, of, of the whole country, you know, of the fact that, um, you know, we, we, we live in this um, mansion. We live in this mansion, you know, and we, we are free to, 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 to leave, you know, if we want to. But um, it's about the choices that we make and the pointless choices that we don't make. I think what is very prominent is the issue of control and over control. When you have over control, you lead to dysfunctional family. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I agree with you, Dr. Ang, that it is about this over control and the, the dysfunction that it causes. I mean, for me, it was interesting when I watched the movie for the first time, of course, and I hadn't seen the whole thing, just taken part in the scenes that I had done. I was very, very moved and surprised by the fact that I was so moved when the old patriarch started crying and weeping when he had realized what he had done. And there was a certain amount of realization and awareness of the futility of his own over-control, his own tyranny. And it, I was so moved that it made me wonder, will that happen in real life with the old <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. I mean, I really, really doubt it. Therein lies the difference. You know, that there's no awareness or realization from a certain person that I would love to see some realization from. Well, that's my answer. That's my take on it. <laughs> okay, well, Steve, I mean, it's all news, but I mean, the reason why I stopped working for Mediacorp is because they stopped calling me because I ended up working for the other station at the time that had been uh, set up. Uh, as we all know, at the time, was to, to for them to sign the free trade agreement, they had to set up a second TV station to show that we had freedom and of press. <laughs> uh, and then at that time they tried to get me to sign a, an exclusive contract with them, which I was happy to do, except that they were there was no work, you know, it was just like, basically, don't work for, for the other companies, <laughs> like what we want. I fought with the TCS people, so I called them idiots. Uh, they, they were made to focus on money and to screw everybody in terms of money without realizing that the main agenda was censorship. So everybody who works there, I was wondering why it's such an unhappy environment and why I personally found it so, so destroying to work for Singapore TV. Thank you everyone.